Today we're playing some Stardew Valley, but I've installed some game-changing mods on today. So we have some experience bars over here with a mystery skill here at the bottom. We have some weather information up here and some other UI information that'll be up here that will change over time depending on what's happening in a day. So I jump outside here. You'll notice maybe something that's not quite normal. Up in the top right here, we will get to that in a bit. First, we're going to plant our parsnip seeds today, so we're going to clear out a little bit of land. We'll grab our pickaxe here, and as you do, we will charge that up to break all the rocks around instead of hitting them one by one. <laughs> and we'll go over here and we'll charge up our axe as well to break some more stuff. Definitely normal behavior. Give me one moment here, I'll clear some more land for us. We've started to suffer from heat exhaustion. Tidying up our farm here. Must be a pretty hot day. We're gonna plant our parsnips just in front here. So we're gonna get all these out here. So I have something I'd like to grab from Robin first. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our map. We can see all our people around town here. She'll be right up here. So we're just gonna click there and warp. And we'll just jump inside. And we're gonna shop from her. And she has a new item for us, the farm rearranger. We're gonna grab those and head on back. We're gonna throw this down just over here for now. We'll use that. And I like to have my shipping bin usually in this spot here, but it's not always the best spot to have it. I figure it'd be a lot better if it was closer to your house. Let's just jam it right into the wall right there. And we'll see if that's going to even be used still. See? Perfect! Then you can just head right to bed afterwards. Don't need to walk all the way over here. So I've made our way up to the mountain lake here, and we still do have this guy in our way here. So we'd have a couple options. We could always just sleep and wait for him to go away, or we can just walk up to it and we'll just jump right over. Easy way to get to the mines. And if you are not quite the Olympic jumper, we can just jump right off and we can swim around him instead. That way we don't have to jump at all, just in and out of the water. And we also still make it to the mines. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like I'm in a very attacking mood today, so I will be using the Rusty Heart today. So if we find any enemies, we are going to use our love points. <laughs> okay, coming up on our first new best friend we are gonna run up to him and we are going to love him to death oh that's <laughs> that's that's just something else <laughs> coming out of the mines we are going to get out of here and we are going to use the mine cards and we got a few options to choose from here well, let's just take a look at where some of these bring us we got the wizard we got the beach. We're just going to skip Willie's cutscene then. Oh, and he ruined it for us. And I accidentally jumped in the water. Okay, round two at the beach one. Oh, we're just up here. That's pretty cool. Let's check the desert one. And, oh, yeah, we're up by a... <laughs> coconut's almost right in the middle of that. That's a pretty cool spot. Uh, the bus, the mine, the town are usual, but the farm is up here. Let's head into town. We do have a couple more spots there where we can plant some crops, but it is getting a little bit late. We can see another one of our things there, automatically hoeing up artifact spots. Don't even need to spot them anymore. So it is a little foggy out. I did sleep through a day here. And you notice we don't have any money, and that's because I accidentally put it all in the ATM. So we are going to withdraw some money today. We'll need, let's say, $5,000 today. That should be good enough money for buying some crops. Oh, but he is not open yet. We have a little work around for that. I'm going to take a quick talk to our little buddy Krobus down here. And he will sell us a lockpick for $500. So let's see if we can't get into his shop now. And we are inside. He is not tending his shop. 
Oh, Pierre. Why are you like this? So we're going to head back to the farm. And if he's not going to sell them to us, then we're going to do something else. We are just going to go ahead and open this up. We are going to grab the general store. And there we go. Pierre seems to be working the shop online today. Let's grab... Let's grab a couple cauliflowers. We'll go ahead and chuck those down. There we go. That was easy. You know, while we're at it, let's go ahead and construct a building. Let's grab... Let's just grab a coop. We'll put it somewhere where it looks good. Thinking right, right there. Perfect. That's an amazing spot. Okay, looks like Robin is working away up there. And we're going to stand on our crops to water them, as you do. Stand here and pet our dog from two tiles away. If we can actually get to her. Nope, doesn't seem like she wants us to talk to her. Oh well. We'll just jump along our day here. So we have found Penny up here watching the kids at the playground. We're gonna go ahead and open up our mobile phone. And instead of, uh, you know, just talking to her right there, we're gonna phone her. And we are going to invite her on a bloom ride. There you are, just in time. Look, here it comes. Oh, and we got heat exhaustion. <laughs> Marcello's balloon rentals at your service. Oh, he can jump too. You must have that mod installed as well. <laughs> it's all yours for two hours. Now I was told there's a saloon somewhere around here. Oh, we just had the balloon all to ourselves. Well, that's pretty cool. It's unfortunate. Oh, we're just going to look the other ways. No point in looking at each other. I saw an ad in the paper for these balloon rides, but I could never afford it myself. Thank you, Happy McKee. You're too good to me. <laughs> this looks fun. Let's ride. Okay, lead the way. Okay. Holy man. I'm not in it. Neither is she. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a little scared too if I wasn't in a balloon and I was going through the background and I was just kind of levitating off into there. Where do we go to now? Oh, oh, are we going to be in the balloon? We're in the balloon! We found our way in. Perfect. She is, must be very scared of heights. She is just trembling. <laughs> Seems we are getting a phone call from Robin. Hello, Hop McGee. She just wants to chat, I guess. Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. Well, that's a weird thing to phone about. But thanks for the call, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I do have one here that's being a little glitchy. So it is supposed to be for a portal gun. That's supposed to be the icon for it, but it is sharp as nothing. But if we do shoot, say, blue in there, the yellow one over there, we can go through our portals. Why use mini obelisks when you can just use a portal gun? Have one wait over there. Jump around with those. That's pretty neat. It is a little buggy. I'm assuming it's another mod. Oh, we're getting another phone call. Let's see what it is this time. From Penny. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Well, that's what happens when you live with someone like Pam. Goodbye! So if you did notice, up here we do have a new crafting recipe, the traveling merchant in the town, it's Mary Lewis's birthday, it's bad luck day, I figured that is our phone right there, because that rings when we do get a call. And we got a thing to meet the wizard. So we are going to use our minecart and go visit him today. Okay, let's see what he has for us. 
it is time for you to learn the ways of magic. I have adjusted the Yoba altar in Pierre's shop for you to use. I will teach you the basic of arcane magic, but the rest you must discover on your own. The arcane analyzed spell can be used to discover most spells, however certain. However, certain, more powerful spells must be discovered in other ways. Every school of magic has three normal spells and a fourth ancient spell. Even I do not know where these spells lie. To help you get started, I will give you a hint. Try using Analyze on your watering can. To start casting a spell, press Q, then press 1 to 4 to choose the spell. Press Tab to switch between spell sets. These controls can be adjusted in the magic's config file. <laughs> magic! <laughs> And that's our usual cutscene there. So let's go see what that altar looks like. And we're not going to wait for Pierre to open. We're just going to use our handy lockpick. And let's go see... What he has done to the altar. Oh, yep, that looks a little bit different. Just a little. Uh, oh, this... Is this... Is this right? Or is this broken? Oh, no, there's something. Magic Missile, Disenchant, lower the quality of an item, sale price difference between old and new quality is refunded into wallet, Enchant, which is probably more useful, can we put this on? Somewhat weak, what is, oh I could, oh I grabbed something, can I put it here? Can I grab all of them? What is this one? Analyze, well that's the Analyze one, can we grab that? Let's just put everything on here. Let's see if I can figure out how this works. I have a watering can. We'll hold. I forget which one he holds. <laughs> said to hold one second. Okay, I was supposed to hold Q, not M. So we'll hold Q and press 1. That didn't seem to do anything. Two? Oh, you learned to spell water. I pressed Q. And oh, I put analyze on 2, that's why. Do I. I don't know what to do with that now. Let's see if I can figure it out and I'll let you know what I... Okay, well, I found the enchant one. If you're holding an item, so if I'm holding Q and my enchant is on four, I'll raise it to silver, to gold, and to iridium. I don't know if, why you wouldn't just do that every time, unless there's something else that I'm not noticing right away. Okay, well, I was just mashing buttons and going through different things. I learned blink. We'll try and do that one. We'll see about clear debris. Till will be on number three. And water will be on four. And let's see if I can get those. Okay, so I just went to sleep and woke up. And it looks like we actually have something down here now. So I, th I guess uh, sleeping was necessary. And it did give me level one. So maybe that's what I was not understanding. Uh, so let's try and do Q4. Q1. There's our blink. Oh, and our mana bar went down. Oh, that's super awesome. Uh, I think three is till ground. Awesome. Q4 is water. Well, I use a lot of mana. Uh, let's see what Q2 does for debris. Well, it didn't break the rocks, but it broke some simple stuff. That's very neat. Oh, I keep hitting W, so let's do Q1 again. That's very cool. I, I'm really liking the magic mod. I, I'm actually... <laughs> I think that's actually really neat. So I could probably play with that all day, but I'm going to move on from there. Uh, so have you ever put some pass down? And the usual method is you have to go around and you have to pickaxe every single one. So that gets very annoying. Especially if you just want to switch it out. So instead, we'll just, uh, we'll just hammer all those into there. And switch them out just like that. Much easier and faster than the other method. And if you like decorating your farm up with these paths, usually you fill up this whole area and it looks something like that, possibly. So you can never put it under the shipping bin, which we can do, which is obviously not there. And we can put things under the mailbox. So you don't have that weird little patch of missing, which you just can't. Up at the mountain lake, uh, these are always some of the, if you're really like hard up for wood, like these are the trees that you usually hit down, maybe you get like three or four from. So we're gonna smack that down. And uh, we, we get all the wood. We don't even have to get a magnet ring. This bush usually gets in the way, so we're just gonna smash it right out of the way. 
And we'll hit down that tree. And we get all that wood as well. The items no longer break in the water. You don't just lose them. And we can also just break any bushes that we don't like. Maybe don't want that one here. Don't want that one. Get rid of that one. Smash that one. Just break all the bushes. So if you've ever been annoyed with bushes, you can just get rid of them. And after you're done with all your destruction of bushes, maybe you need to go talk to Linus. So you just jump up all the edges. Just jump over the bush. Maybe jump over his tent. Style on him a little bit. <laughs> you need to go down and rob him. So we'll, oh, can't jump that far. It is customizable for the jump distance. You can jump pretty far. Oh, we're inside our house. And we're out. <laughs> Die, bush. We're going to jump back to our ATM really quick. We're going to withdraw some more money. Let's just grab... We'll just grab a lot. 10,000. Maybe a little more. Let's do... Let's do 50,000. Let's get a bunch of money out. And we are going to go head up to the community center real quick. Well, it's early on in spring. I haven't really done much of anything. We have none of our bundles here done. If we open these up, instead of going through and collecting all these items and figuring that out, you got money, you can just buy it. Jam something in there for you. Don't even need to finish them at all. And you can open up the other bundles and finish them off. Pay any of them just in cash. So you could buy any of them, say fall foraging, winter foraging, any of them. You can just buy it and then just jump your way out. So before we jump in the water this time, we're just going to go ahead and switch into our swimsuit. Which you can do just at any point. We'll jump in the water. And not only are we just going to jump in the water, we are going to dive. We got some fish forage, the sea urchin, rainbow shell, tilapia, I believe. Oh, ran out of breath. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some cool stuff down there. Oh, there's a fish swarm attacking me. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually being attacked, but if I go right back down, are they still there? Oh, they're still there! <laughs> oh my... Okay, so I found what I was looking for. If we dive down about here, we got a treasure chest. Wild bait. You received wild bait temp too. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so here on Ginger Island, we're going to jump up there, jump way over. Wow, that was a big jump. And we can go underwater here too. Well, here's the shipwreck underwater. Puffer fish. Much easier way to catch a puffer fish. Let's go see if there's anything else I'll put down here. The Nautilus shells, white algae. I have no idea what that is. That's an enemy. Do I have to hug it to death? What happens if we go underneath? Yeah, we gotta love it. <laughs> it does zero damage. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And our last place to dive down, I believe, is the mountain lake. Oh, boy. This place has its own sound and everything. That is so awesome. Can we actually go up this way? Let's try it out. Can we go in here? No, can't go in there. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well, this, this is... look. Let's go down one, one other area over here. Just because the mountain lake looks really neat. There's all these custom fish down here. There's some good mine down here. Let's get some iron. That front there is one more area actually, which is East Scarp, which is not a vanilla area. We can just use that rock to change if we want. We can head down over this way. And we'll jump in the water. Oh, it's not happy. It's not happy. It does not like something there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And let's go underwater. Okay, so similar to the ocean out here. I really like the mountain lake. The mountain lake was super awesome. Yeah, I think that's our last underwater area. 
So this one we will be forcing it to happen just so we can see it occur is the Blood Moon. So it makes people more irritable and monsters will appear. Oh, there's our first enemy there. And we are going to love him to death. Oh, there's another monster coming. Let's go see if we can find uh, NPC and see how they feel about our present. I think I heard an enemy. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, don't swim in that. Do not touch. No touch. Oh boy, that's awful. I think Evelyn is always pretty nice. Let's see what she has to say for us. It's a blood moon. What you doing talking to me, you crazy? <laughs> George is regularly pretty mad. It's a blood moon, what you doing? Oh, talk to me. Okay, same thing. Blood moon, what you doing? Okay, so everyone is... Oh, are we... I think we broke the game. Okay. Okay, so we're out of the Blood Moon and right into the Eclipse. <laughs> so that is, that makes things look really hard to see, but it actually looks really cool. All the town is lit up by some of the lanterns. That's pretty neat. And if we step outside on this day, we are in a blizzard. <laughs> a foggy blizzard. Makes it a little little hard to see, but it makes the winters actually pretty. So we're going to end this video off today. It is 1.50 in the morning, almost time to pass out, and thank you guys for watching. We didn't pass out. Yeah, you don't actually pass out in this. You, you can stay up all night long working and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to sleep. You can just continue working. Thanks for watching.